I wanted to make this video on what you need to know when buying your first CNC machine. And I wanted to make that because I'm planning to buy another CNC machine tomorrow. This will be my second one if I pick it up. First you need to decide do you want a mill or a lathe. That I'm kind of going to keep out of this video. Mainly what I want to cover is financial wise and new and used and lease or loan or cash. You should look up and see what the price of the item is new versus a used one. I've seen some used machines go for about the price of a new one. The difference in getting a new one is that you get the warranty with that. So that would make a lot more sense just to get a new one in that case. Now some of the things I want to cover is consider how much it's going to cost. The list price for this one is $14.5. I know that I'm going to need to buy several different things to make it work. I'm going to need tools, so I'm going to budget $800 for that. I'll need a vise. Those look like they're around $1,000, so I'll add that to the tab. Sales tax is about 5.3%, so budget about $1,000 for that. If you need a program for or programs made for the machine and you're not really sure how to do that, you're going to need to hire somebody to do that. I got a quote from a guy here uh, that is selling the machine that does programming on a, as a side business and he charges $90 an hour to do that. All the programming stuff that I've done, I've just figured it out myself. It would have been faster to try and get somebody to help me, but because I learned how to do it, then it makes it so I don't have to pay out that kind of money. So I get to actually earn that money, though it will be at a lesser rate because it take, took me a lot longer to learn but it's more valuable to me because I can do it on site without, without having to wait for somebody else to get back to me about doing the program for the machine. If you do buy the machine in cash or with a loan, it doesn't really matter which, but if you buy it rather than lease, you're obligated to pay a property tax as a business owner on that machine. Ours, I think, is a little over 5% per year, so it can be as much as $500 or more per year just to have that machine sitting there. It does, they don't care if you don't even use it or if you can't use it. That's your responsibility. You got to get the return on investment. So just make sure that you are aware of that. You are obligated to pay 5% of that machine cost every year. So the machine actually does cost you more money from having to have it sit here. And if you buy it that way, Keep in mind, if you use tax code 179, you can buy that machine and write off the whole purchase price that year. So if you bought that machine for $20,000 that year, you get to deduct that from your income. Now, don't get that confused with your tax bill. If you have a tax bill of $100,000 and you think that you're going to buy this machine for $20,000 and get a $20,000 discount on your tax income it doesn't work like that or your tax bill the way that that will work is if you spend twenty thousand dollars there'll be a twenty thousand dollar amount that is not taxed on your income so it'll go by the tax rate so if you pay fifty percent of tax on your income then you will have a ten thousand dollar write-off and so basically you spend twenty thousand and you get ten thousand dollars off your tax i got kind of confused about that a year ago and i was thinking would it make sense to buy the machine now or whatever i didn't have enough money to pay my tax at the time because it was a little bit higher than i expected i ended up just not buying a machine which was a better idea in my opinion and i sucked up and paid the tax bill over time consider the risk some of the risks that you may not think about is well, what if the machine does break if I get a used one? What if it breaks if I get a new one and it's not under warranty? That could be a huge financial loss, but you could also show that on your taxes as well, though that's not really what you hope for because it could potentially put your business out of business and potentially have other employees lose their jobs over your mistake. If people were to get hurt on the machine, it is you're probably liable for that so you do need insurance to cover you for those types of things 
that's kind of a general thing that you need with business anyway. But just keep that in mind that if somebody does get hurt, it could end up in a huge uh, workman's comp claim issue there. You know, it's just the obvious things like how much is the bank loan percentage-wise going to be? What's your return on investment of buying the machine? For the machine that I want, it's going to help me just give me more capability to do, th do some things that I'm already doing, but easier. And it will also help me to do new jobs that I've never done before. In some cases, I've looked at looked at the buying this machine. Does it really make that much sense? Because I have so much work to do on my lathe. Will I really have time to use this machine? Well, keep in mind that if you can hire somebody to use this machine and you yourself still work on the other machine, you could get a decent return on investment as long as the people that you hire are actually using the machine and not just playing around and not doing their job. If you lease the machine, I don't know that this is true, but the way my accountant said, he was thinking that if we lease it, then you're not obligated to pay the tax on it yearly as a business equipment expense. I don't know if that's true or not, so check with your tax accountant because it could be different in your area. I think that's pretty much everything that you need to know. A basic return on investment, get an idea how much it will cost, uh, additional purchase items that you'll have to buy to be able to use the machine, how quickly can you get it up and running is another concern because you will have to have it wired in so you have to consider somebody coming to your property and wiring up the machine delivery how much is it going to cost to move the machine there's one i was looking at it's going to cost nine hundred dollars just to get the machine out of the building plus i was going to have to pay to actually ship it to me so that was a you know that's a big deal because that's an additional nine hundred dollars and that doesn't even include shipping as far as fair fair costs for cnc equipment that's kind of hard to determine like what i'm looking at i think it's a fair price because the company that I'm buying it from is a used equipment dealer and they go back and refurbish all the machines. They're all on they're all there on site of their property. So they buy, refurbish, and resell. And because of that, I feel more confident buying from them than buying from someone else who's just selling online. For example, there's this one guy that was selling CNC equipment on eBay and he didn't actually own the property. He was going off finding these, finding these machines on like Craigslist, putting them up for sale, trying to become somebody in between the sale to be the guy that he was gonna go and be the middleman, take the money from you, him go buy the machine and then have it forwarded to you which the guy that was selling the machine didn't even know anything about the whole transaction that he was in between. Try and stay away from those people because in that case, the one guy who was doing that, one guy got really mad at him that tried to buy the machine from him, which was indirectly buying it from the other guy. What happened there was because of that, uh, the machine got sold to somebody else without the middleman knowing. And that just ended up in a huge lawsuit kind of ordeal that you don't want to get involved with. Make sure you can go and see the machine on site. You can also hire somebody locally to go look at it and inspect it. So just be aware of what you're getting into. Most machines run off three phase. Some have a 220 power option or can use three phase or 220. Make sure that if you do get a three-phase machine, you're going to need a three-phase converter. The one that I'm quoted for for a new one is going to be $1,600. So add that into the price plus sales tax. So that's going to be an additional like $60. Well, actually be more than that. Put an additional $200 as a case. I don't know the sales tax in your area. Some places is it's as high as 9%, maybe even higher. So keep that in mind. 5.3% is my local sales tax as of this tax year.